Welcome to the GTP. My name is Scott, where we talk all things manga. I'm excited to share with you seven new titles, thanks to our friends from Yen Press that they shared with our channel. So these titles, I had the opportunity to read them in advance before they are released. Some of them are being released as we speak, some in the next couple weeks, and I wanted to share with you my thoughts to let you know whether or not this is worth checking out, maybe something that might pique your interest, as well, does it deserve a spot on your collection? And there are some phenomenal titles within this. So before I do that, I'd love to hear it in the comments below, which of these seven titles are you most excited or interested in checking out. So thank you so much for being a part of this channel. It, if it was not for you just clicking on this video, we wouldn't even have this opportunity to begin with where Yen Press thought, huh, maybe we should send some manga to the GTP. So I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to our friends from Yen Press. Let's go ahead and check out the first title, Go, 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 Ghost. And this is actually a Jose series. Now, what's interesting about this series is actually a revenge story as you're following this girl here who uh, decided that things have just gone really, really bad to her. She's being taken advantage of over and over again by these other males in the corporate environment from other past love lives. And it's just, it's going bad to the point that she just doesn't want to live. And then so all of a sudden before she dies, a ghost appears and you find out that he's his, her guardian. And he's like, hey, these people you have a grudge on, what if I help you even the odds? What if I go ahead and even the stakes? And she's like, you know, that's worth living. Let's do it. So this completely flew over my radar. I had no idea that this existed and I'm really excited I did. And then after the end of this volume, I immediately wanted to know what's gonna happen next. I want to see how things plan out in her corporate environment where she's taken advantage of. There's these girls that pretend to be really nice to her and you find out behind the scenes that they're really terrible. And she is about to get her revenge and I really want to know what's gonna happen. So if you're looking for a manga, it had some laugh out loud moments and because it's a Jose series, it's geared towards an older audience. So it had that female perspective, but as a male myself, I absolutely loved and I thought this was a great first volume. Now up next we have is Miss Savage Fang. And this was a very interesting isekai series. You know, I'm a sucker for isekais. Now this manga here, I know it's, I believe it's based off of the light novel and the light novel I know did finish early. And I, I think I read that the manga only has three volumes. So I would love to see if this gets continued on over that. Cause this was a very interesting and good first volume. As you follow this main character, who is this mercenary here, this stud of a mercenary, but unfortunately he doesn't have any magical abilities. And he's in this kingdom where this girl is just downright mean and awful and just taking advantage of the kingdom and she has these magical abilities. So not to spoil too much, but the, our dashing mercenary man, he ends up dying at the same time as this girl who's just oppressed the kingdom. And when that happens, the mercenary man has woken up now in the past but he's woken up in her body. So he has all the strength of being a mercenary and knowing war tactics. And at the same time, he now has magical abilities, but he's trapped now in the female body. So I did appreciate it didn't go in towards a gross take on that, but it more focused on the ability of now having power and he wants to get his revenge just now inside her body instead. So he's trying to right the wrongs of the past or in the future actually now. So he's trying to prevent these things from happening again. So the artwork I thought was very good. I, I was hooked in and I wanted to know what was gonna to continue to happen. And so I'm, I'm excited to see what happens with this series. Now, I believe it only had three volumes total and I, I think the series is no longer continuing. If it does continue, this is one I would thoroughly want to continue reading and checking up on. Sometimes it's hard where I don't want to get my heart in love with something just to know if I find out that it's been discontinued. I'm like, oh no, I'd rather just avoid it from you know being broken hearted from the beginning. As there's some great different titles that we've seen come up that because it may have got canceled or it's on hiatus or discontinued or it's on pause, you're like, oh, do I really want to invest my time in this and fall in love with something that I don't know if it's gonna continue or not? But I, I will say it was a very good first volume. I, was surprised how much I did enjoy this series. Next up is a very cozy title, and you know that we love cozy series, the ones that you just wanna snuggle up to a blanket, a feel-good series, and that is exactly what we get with Aria of the Beach Forest. Now, this story here, you follow this girl who is a witch, and she's just on her own living, living this life, and then she ends up stumbling against 
uh, stumbling against this wolf here and they end up creating a friendship together and it is interesting where it's actually set in modern times so you'll have things happen in the story where it's not just in a different world but it'd be as if today and sometimes the fuzziness you get from a studio gb even though i know it's not a studio gb from this but uh, the alchemy she can make she can make different teas and actually gives you some recipes on here i don't know if it'd be wise to follow those recipes from the book but you get to learn how different things are made like I think nettle tea and yet their leaves are poisonous but if you soak them they're okay so i thought that was interesting but it was a very very beautiful well done first volume i would say uh, i was funny my wife when she was looking at she's like you know this reminds me of witch hat atelier and you know in some ways it does it's a completely different story and premise this is more felt more like a slice of life but i really enjoyed this first volume it was very wholesome if you're looking for a cozy wholesome just a feel good story this is one i think is going to be up your alley my guess is that this one is going to take off and it's going to be on many people's number ones at the end of the year of most popular series that they enjoy now next is our lovely Excellent property rejects for residents bath laverties and angels are communal. Now this series here has to do with this lovely angel girl here who's maybe just not the let's say the brightest of all the angels out there that have, have the most shiniest wings and we get to follow this lovely main character that you know he just doesn't have a whole lot going on with his life and that's okay he's fine how he is living at this rejects property and he just sees himself as a reject he's lazy doesn't really want to do much and this lovely angel here feels it's her job to go ahead and save him which he doesn't want saving but to help him get a job so it's very silly just the funniness where uh, the portal she goes through she struggles because her she says her hips are too big so she's she gets stuck every single time she has a portal she keeps messing up all the time so things that you would think are very simple to her like she's trying to use a computer and that just went very very badly so I think that was more for the comedy aspect. So if you're looking for a series of, the, of a lighthearted, an angel girl who just wants to be a big helper, and yet she is going to struggle over and over and over again, to the point when the best thing she has is they can take one of her wings and they can use it to barbecue as a grill. So if that sounds up your alley, this might be something that's worth it to you. There were some moments I, I definitely thought that was funny. It was interesting seeing this community. It reminded me uh, a little bit like a uh, Konsuba of uh, just the um, not as very bright uh, with the with the main with the main girl, but this um, just like her, not very bright, but she's full of heart, full of goal, and she wants to do what's right, even though she's not very good at her job. She might be at the very bottom when it comes to angel abilities, and she's trying to redeem herself by helping someone who doesn't necessarily want help. So it was definitely something I wouldn't. I thought of before, I didn't know, so I'm very grateful that Yen Press sent this. So that is my thoughts on our lovely, excellent properties. Now, next we have a lovely one-shot omnibus. So it's a three-in-one, and this this does deserve a spot on your shelf. It was a great one-shot, and that is Penguin Highway. And man, they did such a good job with this. I really appreciate it. Instead of sending us three volumes to send us actually a three-in-one, I really appreciate it. This was a very good just it was a wholesome story it had some funny moments and i really enjoy it as you're following this main character here who's trying to figure out why all of a sudden these penguins exist as the penguins are just mysteriously happening around the town and then when people capture the penguins after time they disappear and so there's a little bit of mystery and just a bit of magic and speaking of studio gb this felt like a studio gb movie almost i could totally see this being a Studio GB film. Now, I know there is an anime film for this. I have not seen it, but I just felt really good with it. At the end of the day, I just, on a hot Saturday right now, being inside, having the AC going, and being able just to relax and read this with a, a good cup of coffee, I just, I felt at home. I felt so relaxed, and I just, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this story. It was and it felt it wrapped up nicely i almost wish it continued even further uh, as a future i'd love to see what happens with this main character here but i they did such a good job seeing him as he's trying to discover why these penguins exist this is one i highly recommend checking out and i do believe if you're someone who loves a good one shot which is kind of it's a three in one this deserves a spot on your shelf now up next is a little different this is actually a light novel and 
I actually usually don't read light novels and I'm not sure maybe it was accidentally sent because I don't think I clicked on to accept light novels but Yen Press sent this to me anyways and I'll be honest this is my first time ever reading fully a light novel. I've read sections of light novels from that time I got reincarnated as a slime for an example um, but I've never thoroughly just read a whole light novel so, so this was a very first for me. Now this one is called The Trials of to a doctor running the supreme court of another world with my sister so we have this main character here and this girl here she is a judge in the supreme court in japan and like an izakai they have now been transferred to another world and in this world they have one of their mages has a ability called copy and paste and the magical kingdom has just loved japanese so much that they just keep copying and pasting things from Japan and bringing them over to their world to the point that they decide to copy and paste the Japanese laws. Now they have this situation from an adventurer that they're, they're trying to get solved and they need a Supreme Court person. So she has been brought over. She was an adult and now she's 15, but they bring up that she doesn't fully have the body of a 15 year old, but she is 15. And now they're in this situation where she is in this other world. And I will say it reminded me because I haven't done light novels before, I felt like I was watching an anime as I was reading it. I could, as I was seeing everything going on in here, it felt very much like I was watching the anime itself. So they did a good job describing where I, I literally felt like I was turning on the TV and watching an episode as I was going through this. It was a very easy to read. I'm dyslexic. And so for some dyslexic, it was easy for me to understand and read. I will say this one was not exactly up, um, on something I would typically read, but I'm not a big, uh, big novel person to begin with. The type of books I usually read are leadership books or uh, business books, so you know, boring stuff. Uh, if you ever want good self-help books or ones that help you just become a better person, talk to me. I can give you a ton. I'm constantly reading those type of books, but you're here for manga, not for that type of thing. So uh, with this, it just it was it was a bit on the weird end for me, struggling with. Um, seem you know he times where he's like it's my sister it's my sister I'm uh, she's so beautiful but I need to remember she's my sister so uh, there were times that it felt a little bit more uh, etchy at times where you know she's the judge and when she hits her hammer you know there's not as much support here and things might be bouncing around so I was like huh but I know there's a lot of animes that that stuff just happens all the time and for a lot of people that doesn't bother at all but for me uh, being a parent and parents mindset it's not something I would want necessarily for my kids to read even though I don't think this is necessarily for kids even though it just says it is 13 and up so that's a long thought on this again this is my first time reading a light novel um, I, I thought the story was very interesting I just thought this one was not would not be for me not something I would typically pick up but might be something that you would and I would not be surprised if there is not as soon an anime adaptation for this is I, I do believe this will be up a lot of people's alley. Now last is something that was actually in my top 10 of most wanted series for 2024 and I didn't hear anybody else really talking about this and I think I was the only one that had this even in a top 10 list and I think it was either five or six and so I'm so glad for Ice Press bringing this out they announced it last year and I didn't hear anything and I was beyond grateful they sent this to me. I was, my fingers were crossed behind the scenes. I was like, if, if they don't send anything else to me, I hope if I could get one last time getting stuff from Yen Press, would I get this? It was one I would have purchased anyways, but that is your letter. And this is phenomenal. This is another one shot series. It tugged on my heartstrings as you're following this girl here who she stands up for what's right and because that in her school ends up getting bullied to the point after standing up against a bully that she ends up transferring different schools so she's not bullied anymore. And in this new school she ends up finding a letter at this her desk which ends up opening up to a mystery of one letter to another letter to another letter and she ends up becoming friends with this person here and it's just it is a beautiful story that I just I don't want to ruin for you. There's even something really cool at the very back of the book. There's a little surprise here. It's something sentimental that they did that I, I can't open it because I don't want to spoil it for you. I love your letter. You've got to pick this one up. I do believe this is worthy of your shelf. This is one that after you read, I believe you're going to want to recommend to others and have them read as well. It was a beautiful, beautiful, well done story by Ice Press. 
I'm so grateful that this came to America. It's now in English. This was a phenomenal title. If there's anything I would recommend, I'll, everything I, 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 I read, I would have this be your number one. And then if you're like, oh, well, Scott, I, I can do more. Penguin Highway, I would get that as well. So that's all that I got from Yen Press. Those are seven brand new releases. Again, I'm beyond grateful. Thank you so much, Yen Press, for sending these. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. And if you'd like to see more content like this and you've not done so already, thanks to my lovely analytics that says that this video, only 27% of you are actually subscribers. So if you would like to help this channel, if we'd like to get more from Yen Press, and I'd love to do a giveaway by giving some of these manga away to you guys, um, go ahead and if you hit that subscribe button, I would love to see, I'd love to make that, can we make it just even 30%? Can we, would you be part of that 3%? If you're watching this video, would you hit subscribe and be part of that 3% to go and support the channel? Can we get the 30% viewership be from subscribers? That might be a tall order, maybe it's not, but hey, would you be part of that 3%? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one.